Twisted Tree Steakhouse sponsors Cat Neville segment here on the Big 550 KTRS. Twisted Tree Steakhouse from the Cyborg family at Watson and Lindbergh in Sunset Hills. Twisted Tree Steakhouse, well on their way to their second anniversary. Business is booming thanks to Jimmy Cristo. He knows what he's doing over there. Go and have a great meal. Tell them uh, KTRS sent you. 314-394-3366 or twistedtreesteakhouse.com. Look to our wondering eyes. It is Cat Neville. Hi, how are you? You've, wow. been, ga- <laughs> you've been gallivanting all around the world, have I, you? Yes, I'm a gallivanter. Yes. I <laughs> just I just flew in from Florida a couple of days ago. I and your go, arms are so tired. They're so tired. But I'm bump. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, can we talk a little restaurants here? Yes. yes. I've, been, I've been jonesing for a cat fix for a while. <laughs> All right, what do you got for us? Okay, so um, I have uh, two new spots, both of which are are really unique and and really fun. And so the first one that I'm going to start out with is uh, the brick and mortar location of Frankly Sausages, and it is Frankly on Cherokee, two seven four four Cherokee Street. So we've talked about Frankly Sausages before. They opened up as a truck in 2016, and it is, um, it's Jamie and Bill Cawthon who are the couple behind this truck. And it was so popular that they had to turn it into a brick and mortar location. I know. Story. And, you know, this is, we've talked about this over the years, but, you know, one of the, great things about the food truck phenomenon is that people could essentially kind of like test the waters with a a lower, you know, initial investment to Mm -hmm. see, you know, test menu items and, and, you know, build a, um, an audience. And it really worked in the case of the folks at frankly sausages, they make all their sausages, um, themselves and this new brick and mortar location, which is relatively small. I think it seats like fewer than 40 people. Um, but it's going to be the commissary for the truck as well as this restaurant. So they've expanded, their menu and uh, they have obviously uh, the, the the sausages that everybody loves for example there's the chicken sausage with roasted butternut squash and caramelized leeks they have a chili verde sausage with avocado and tomatillo um, relish so they have some really creative stuff it's not just brats with onions right. Right. Um, but then some of the new menu items they have like uh, a chicken liver essentially like a Braunschweiger um, crostini um, with some balsamic um, uh, some balsamic uh, vinegar and some chives. Mm. They're also doing, again, the, the butternut squash kind of shows up again as a salad with arugula, ricotta. Um, they do these hand cut fries and they're known for their raclette. And do you know what raclette is? No, I no. Don't. So it's this Swiss. Um, if you love cheese like I do, it's this wonderful wheel of cheese where they warm up the edge and then it is the the gooey melted cheese is kind of slid off onto mm. like what, your what, fries. What's it called? Oh, raclette. Gosh. Raclette. That mm-hmm. sounds delicious. Yes, mm-hmm. it sounds delicious. And once um, once they get their uh, their liquor license, they're going to have you know beer and wine, but then they're also going to be doing some bottled cocktails, very trendy. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm really excited for them, and I'm excited for Cherokee Street because I think it's a, a really nice addition. Yeah. Cherokee just has such a um, a variety of places. I mean, you go and you yeah. just walk down the street and you can have everything yeah. that you could possibly want. And mm-hmm. so it's, it's just, it, it, it's exciting to see when people who are putting their all into a concept, uh, you know, like, like a food truck that it really works out where they can open up a brick and mortar. And if, you know, Bill has a, a fantastic resume. He worked for like Pasteria and he worked for Cardwell's and was out in Beverly Hills. So, you know, they came into it knowing what they were right. doing and, and that's, and it's paid off. Frankly, Sausages, 2744 Cherokee Street. What's number two? Number two is the newly opened 1764 Public House in the Central West End. It's at 39 North Euclid Avenue. And they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, they're open all the time. And if just to give you some context, they're across the street from what will soon be opening up on December 11th, um, Shake Shack. Uh Aha. Yes. Yes. And then Caddy Corner to the Whole Foods. So it kind of like, this is a really, it's a very bustling um, spot. And so like for breakfast, they're doing some pretty fun stuff. Um, Something I was really excited to see on the menu, they call it breakfast in bread. 
which is hard to say. Mm -hmm. Um, But they take these house-made bread rolls and they stuff them with a whole bunch of stuff. Um, One that I thought was great and sounds like a perfect hangover cure is they have a slinger (laughs) um, where they take a a chili that's made with citywide pilsner and a hamburger patty and um, and, uh, hash brown potatoes, of course, and raw onion and cheddar, and they top it with the onions and an egg and all that kind of good stuff. And so they have a slinger. They also have something called the Kingsway, where they stuff this bread bowl with like barbecued pork and bourbon baked beans and um, do some corn and um, some kale, because you have to have some healthy stuff in there too. Mm -hmm. Um, Top that with an egg. So really the concept for this is St. Louis was founded in 1764. And we... Um, it was a, a French trading post, yes. and the French were the majority residents for many, many, many years. And um, you can see that heritage reflected in many of our street names, right. like Shoto, which mm-hmm. is butchered. It's not pronounced that way <laughs> exactly. in France. No, it is not. It does not matter. <laughs> <laughs> and Laclede's Landing and all of this, right, and you can right. really kind of see, especially in the older parts of St. Louis, you can see that heritage. So um, so 1764 is a mashup of, um, of our sister city, New Orleans, and that French heritage, and then also St. Louis classics. So, for example, and I just had this last night, they have a crawfish toasted ravioli on the menu. Mm, that'll work. Um, mm. It was very tasty. Yeah. And then they serve it with this kind of pimento cheese dip. They do a table side gumbo um, mm. where they pour the they pour the broth on table side and it's you can do a gumbo yeah yeah they can do, do seafood so all di- all different kinds of fun stuff 1764 public house in the central yes. west end 39th uh, north euclid 39 north euclid what's yeah. going on with uh, feast magazine so you are holding in your hands the december issue of the magazine yes. our art director alex povis did an outstanding job it's once beautiful. again it's beautiful sherry Cast- castellano um, is one of our uh, freelance contributors, and she did a story, a cocktail and hors d'oeuvre story, which is what you see on the cover. Mm. It's that brie. Yeah. Um, our managing editor, Nancy Styles, and I love her name, Nancy Styles, woman reporter. Um, <laughs> she Nancy Styles, Feast Magazine. That's right. Uh, she it sounds very official. So yeah. anyway, she did a feature on. The fruitcakes that are uh, made by hand by the monks at Assumption oh, Abbey yes. in Ava, Missouri. Yes. Um, and, I mean, they soak the fruit in burgundy for a very long time. And they inject the these, I know, and they inject <laughs> the cakes with rum. So that's the real thing. And yeah. these cakes are sold by William Sonoma. They, right. um, they are, they're made throughout the year. And so it, it, it's a really great story. And I have one of their cakes in my pantry. I'm waiting because you need the, the the longer it waits, the better it is. Mm, the um, drunker so you seek, get. Yes. So <laughs> seek out one of those. They're and then, monks. <laughs> then we also have a um, a, a really fantastic um, DIY culinary gift with paired recipes feature. Mm. Um, a Missouri duck farm. So really great stuff in in this in this issue. The feast team did it again. They're amazing. So shout out to them. And normally you hear from Liz. Yes. Because I'm gallivanting. Yes. So she's done an amazing job she with the really issue. Has. Kat, now yeah. we'll have yourself a good day. Thanks for checking in. Oh, thank you.